What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, KFX, and I'm back here with another video, and today we got some <laughs> wild news, okay? The Miami Dolphins fired our offensive line coach one week into training camp. Now, yeah. I just don't know what it is, y'all. I don't know what it is about our offensive line and the coaches and the and the, and the team and the players and the bullying back in the day. Like, I just don't know. That. I, we are cursed on the offensive line. I don't know why. I don't know what we did, but it just seems like we are cursed on this offensive line. And, and, and now we got, we found the fire our offensive line coach a week into the training camp. Now, like I said, I'm not quite sure what it, what it is, but it just seemed like we could never get a good offensive line, like just unit and a solid and a consistent. But this move symbolized to me that this guy probably wasn't doing his job, and so he need to get fired. Now, I'm happy with this move for a couple of reasons. The simple fact is, it's no point of waiting. If a guy sucks at coaching or, or you don't like the way a guy coaches, it's no point of waiting and giving him an opportunity. Just fire him at the moment, okay? It's no point of waiting until week three, week, week four, week five, where Ryan Fitzpatrick is getting killed. And then you say, we know what? We gave him an opportunity because every week in the NFL is so important. There's no point in just giving people opportunities and saying, well, we'll see what he can do the first four weeks. Well, those first four weeks could kick you out the playoffs, right? Or be the reason you didn't make the playoffs. So forget that. Just literally... Like, this couldn't be a better time to just fire somebody if they not Just fire them, right? There's no point in even giving an opportunity. Um, our offensive line has clearly struggled throughout this uh, offseason, uh, even. And you know what I'm saying? And it's a continuation from last season. And so he got fired, which is, you know, great. Now, like I said, I'm not sure if it what we have to do to get a consistent line again or to get a, a solid line again. I, I, like I said, I think we're cursed on the line, to be honest with you, because we can, we, we, we can even get some good players on the line sometimes, but then they'll get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Even when we have, you know, uh, Jawan James, uh, Brandon Albert, and Mike Pouncey, our line was straight. And then they uh, they started getting hurt every week. You know what I'm saying? It's just like something is cursed with all I don't know what it is. It started after Bullygate. I'm not quite sure if if, if uh, Jonathan Martin and Richie and Kai need to put some voodoo before they left. I don't know. But us firing our offensive line coach away into the camp shows me that this probably, it had, whatever issue we have with the offensive line has not been fixed. Now, the, the positive to take out of this, y'all, is that our new offensive line coach is actually really, really good. Our new offensive line coach, the one that got promoted, his name is Coach Gouge. I'll call him Coach Gouge because that's what i seen the former player, his former players call him. And because his last name is something crazy, okay? I'm going to try to pronounce it right quick. Dave DeGugliamo. <clears throat> Okay. Bruh. Gooch. Um, he was an excellent offensive line coach with the Colts, man. And he was one of the most surprising fires. They fired him last year, but the reason why they fired him because their coach wanted to bring in his own offensive line coach. Uh Gooch used to coach for the New England Patriots, and then when Josh McDaniels was supposed to sign with the Colts, he went to the Colts, but then Josh McDaniels backed out, and then Gooch stayed with the Colts. So when Frank came over there, the coach had, when the Colts came, when the Colts coach came, he kept Gooch, but then he fired him, you know, the upcoming season, which was this season, because he wanted to bring his own guy, right? Because he never even bought in Gooch. But Gooch was an excellent coach, and the Colts had the most improved line. Everybody praised the, their line, you know, last year. They had one of the most improved lines in the NFL, well, the most improved lines in the NFL. They had one of the best lines in the NFL for Andrew Luck, because if y'all remember, Andrew Luck used to get destroyed before, you know, Gooch. But obviously, it has something to do with them getting Quentin uh, Nelson as well. But Andrew Luck used to get destroyed before Gooch. They got Gooch, Gooch and, and Andrew Luck never got destroyed. And before, he was with the Colts. He was with the Patriots. And y'all know Tom Brady don't really get destroyed either. So, Gooch, he has to be a great offensive line coach. If if these guys can't block after this, it's I, clearly the players. It's not the coach, okay? I can tell you that. It's clearly the players. If, if, if our offensive line can get together with him as head coach, it's the it's the it's it's the players, 100%. It's, it's got to be the players. And in which case, we need to draft an offensive lineman next year, all right? Like I don't know, second round, third round, but I, we gotta we gotta draft an offensive line early as hell next year because <laughs> this is getting out of pocket. And to be quite honest with you, I feel like we have drafted enough good offensive linemen like over the previous years to have a good line. It's just we keep drafting the wrong ones, so it's really about drafting the right ones because I feel like we've drafted plenty of offensive linemen, more than enough, and it's, they just don't never work out. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we're not drafting them, but they just are fucking ass. There's a message out to the coaches. Y'all better coach. Y'all about to coach well because Brian Flores is not playing no games. This is another, uh, another to me, this is another sign. Like, if you still think we're tanking at this point, you're just drunk, okay? Or you're like, I don't know. If this is like tanking shit. Like, you don't just, what would be the point of firing coaches when they're, when they're underperforming and shit? Yeah, the tanking whole tanking, you know, fucking idea, that shit is, yeah. I haven't heard nobody bring it up in a while, which is good, but that shit is like stomping the dirt. If you think we're tanking this year, you're just, <laughs> you, you, you're not paying attention. Uh, 
But nobody can forget this is technically a rebuild year. Even if we do great, okay? It doesn't mean we have to do bad, but this is technically a rebuild year. We do have a lot of picks for 2020, and it, it just was this ain't the year we supposed to go crazy, right? But we can still, you know, do do well. Uh lastly, just to give y'all a little bit of perspective, but just how much the coach office alignment like like uh like Gooch. I will tell you what um Coach Gooch, I will tell you what Quentin and Nelson tweeted after he was fired. He tweeted, I'm seeing a lot of speculation from outsiders talking bad about Coach Gooch, and I just want to address it. He's a great fundamental coach and a great person. He unified us as an offensive line and pushed us to be a, be the best. Anything else said about him is false. Another offensive line I'm going to have, Kelly said, this could not have been said any better. Not only did he bring together a room, but emphasize the importance of technique. In April, he told us physicality and fundamentals would ultimately take us as far as we wanted to drive the train. I fully trust in the org to keep it going. Let me know in the comments, section, guys, what you guys think about this move. Uh, do you like it? Do you love it? I don't see how you can hate it. I see it's not like y'all know this guy. The only way you can hate this is if this other guy we fired, uh, Flaheri or whatever his name is, if that's your like family member or something. Right. I don't know. Other than that, I don't know how you can hate the move. Uh, I love the move. Um, and ain't no point of wasting time. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no point of wasting time. Ain't no point of letting whoever the quarterback is this year get destroyed because you want to, you know, save somebody feelings. Fire him before the season starts. Do it to everybody that's not coaching right. I don't care. Um, well, I mean, I, well, I, that sounds a little cruel. I do care as for, from a human perspective of anybody losing their job is sad. But uh, I think he's pretty well off. So it's all right. Fuck it. Um, last year, Andrew Luck was only sacked 18 times. You know what I'm saying? So listen. Hopefully we can, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't even know how many times our quarterbacks were sacked, but it had to be like, what, 30s and 40s? You know, if you combine both of the two that started last season. So it was bad. Um, hopefully we could, we could, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, pick up some of this mojo. You know what I'm saying? Obviously we, we don't have the talent that uh, Indianapolis Colts had on their offensive line, but you know what I'm saying? We could even come close to the 18 mark. Uh, like I said, get in the comments. Just let me know what you guys think about the move. Like, comment, subscribe. Road to 8K underway. Only less than 100 off. Make sure you have the notifications on, like, comment. Oh. Is your boy K flexing? I'm out.